Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome to an upcoming survival game, Arid. So in this game, you have to survive in the desert. There are a lot of survival games where you have to survive either in the forest or in whatever other climate, in the winter perhaps, but I haven't seen lots of survival games where you have to survive in a desert. So you can get this game on Steam, you can wishlist it, and you can play this demo right now by yourself. So I definitely make sure to check it out, support the developers, because I'm pretty sure even if you wishlist the game, that gives them an idea of how many people want this game, etc., etc. And from what I've seen in the screenshots, it looks pretty nice. And I mean, you can even see that by yourself. This game looks really pretty. In my opinion, it's a lot easier to probably make the game with lots of green stuff pretty rather than a desert game. Like in a desert game, there's not much stuff going on rather than just sand. And somehow, some way, they made it look pretty. Because in other survival games, you know, when they just add trees, grass, whatever, etc., etc., it's probably easier to make that game pretty. Because humans just tend to like green stuff by nature. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Whatever, let's gather that plant fiber. I wish there was maybe some sort of a tutorial. And my guy's super thirsty right now. Maybe I have something to drink in my inventory. Character, equipment, map, journal. Alrighty then. So I have nothing to drink. My guy's actually very parched. Oh, I just found something. Let's take it. Empty flask. It's an empty flask. I need something proper to drink. Traps can be used to lure uh, out food. Try loading one with seeds. I have no idea what I've just done. Alright, maybe I can hide here in the shadow. Okay, so look at this. The temperature starts dropping. It was 35 degrees Celsius. Now it drops down to 22. I really need some water to survive. Yes, I know, mate. I just don't have the slightest clue where to get that water. Maybe that's gonna be like my campfire. Am I really going to die in this place? Hopefully not. Wait, maybe there's something inside of this vase. Uh, you can really refill your flask at water. <gasps> We can get some water randomly just like this in a desert. I love it. Let's go over here and how do I drink it? I just drank a little bit. I just drank a bit more. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. This is so epic. So here we go. Uh, my mom always told me to stay hydrated. <laughs> okay, let's get that stuff. Do I even need a fire? Probably to cook something. But I don't even know where to get other food. Also, why do I have like that skull on in the middle of the screen? What happened? Near death. Your health is low. If you don't watch out, you will die. Uh, how do I restore my health? Okay, so I see that my health is at 23%. I honestly have no idea what I've done. Maybe I'll just go over here and I'll try to refill my water. So that's kind of weird how it's a desert survival game, which you obviously would think that the most important thing here is going to be water. And they just give you water like that for free. I mean, okay, not gonna say no to that. All I know is that I'll try to pick up like all of these resources. Maybe I'll be able to repair my base there. Perhaps, perhaps, couple of plant fibers, more plant fibers. I'm still gonna try to stay in the shade. Yeah, it's so cool. Like even if you're gonna hide like over here, it still lowers your temperature, which is, I would say 100% correct. So that's nice. Let's go to equipment. Is there a crafting menu? I don't really see that there would be a crafting menu. Even in the journal, they don't say anything here. Well, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna question that. As I said many times, every time there is a new survival game, developers, please add some sort of a short tutorial to it. Like, it doesn't have to be a long tutorial. You don't have to point us out what to click, what to do. Just tell us, you know what, like, craft this hatchet or, like, find source of water or something like this so that players get an idea of what they should do first. As of right now, there's a lot of things that I could do. And I basically had like, what, five or even less minutes before I got thirsty. But yeah, whatever. Let's keep gathering resources. I don't even know if I have infinite space in my backpack. Oh, I can carry 50 kilos. And right now I'm carrying 12 kilos out of 50. Good, 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 good. Do I go lower? I don't really know if that's a good idea. But I mean, let's drop down lower. Why not? There's a lot of planks. I can't take those. This is like a small bridge. <laughs> and I wanted to dismantle it for my own good. Here we go, another plank, more plant fibers. And just as always, if you're enjoying these videos, smash that like button on the video because that's a great way to support the video. That's probably the best way for me to see that you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more. So thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate that. And I'll just keep gathering that plant fiber. I assume maybe we need to craft some sort of a workbench to use that plant fiber because what else I would need that plant fiber for? Yeah, I'm a bit hungry. My guy is definitely a bit hungry. So we have to find some food. Here we go, more planks. Do I have anything inside of these boxes? Nope. I could hide from the sun inside of these boxes. Why hide in the shadows <laughs> when you can hide inside of that box and flip it upside down? All right, that's a massive map then. We can even go lower. Oh, wow. I can bet. I don't know what I can bet though, but I'm pretty sure there are gonna be coyotes in the game. It's a desert. Every desert has coyotes. All right, well, I'll keep going because there's not much I can do there at the base. My guy's super hungry. Why do you have to die so quickly out of thir uh, out of hunger? I mean, he's still not dying yet, but he is kind of hungry. Can I get... eat this? Wait, is the storm coming? Oh, no! 
We have to hide, probably. Yeah, hunger makes it hard to think. Shut up. Uh, we got a storm. We got a desert storm. And probably I will die here. I have no clue where I'm going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please tell me that storm isn't gonna last forever. Um, can I maybe eat that plant fiber? Maybe I can craft something. I'm pretty certain there has to be a crafting menu, but there isn't. Alright, it calmed down. It calmed down. It didn't stay here like that forever. I was already going back to the base. Or maybe it just started because it told me to not go further, but I don't think so. Because what else am I supposed to do? There's nothing I can do at my... at that home place. Okay, so I can't take it. I can't eat, take this, whatever, fruit. Okay, so there's that aloe plant. I assume that's aloe plant, no? Uh, aloe vera. So can I eat them? Let's go to my inventory. I can't eat it. I cannot eat it. Probably more aloe vera. Wait, is that a cactus? Oh, sadly, I cannot take that cactus. Would be nice to take it with me. I'm pretty sure you can get water from that. Maybe you can even cook cactuses and eat it. I've seen a couple of survival videos because for some reason I started watching... Uh, lots of IRL survival videos where people just go on an island. They survive there for like, for like a couple of days. Or they go to fish. Or they go fishing, etc, etc, and some people do actually cook cactuses. Protect you against sunburns. How do I protect myself against sunburns? Near there, starvation energy. You've stayed in the sun for far too long. Your skin feels like it's burning. I mean, it's only 34 degrees Celsius. It's not that bad. And it's coming from the guy that does actually enjoy minus 20 Celsius winters. Like, I hate hot weathers, and plus 34 is definitely super hot. But, I mean, you stayed here only for a couple of minutes, mate. I don't think you'd burn so quickly. But, again, what would I know, right? My boots are dying for some reason. I mean, they're losing health. Right, so my dude just said that he keeps literally starving. Wait, I see a bone icon there. Did something happen to my bones? All right, so soon we're gonna start dying. I mean, I'm already dying. Uh, tan is nice, but a sunburn is a bit excessive. Okay, so I just teleported to that thing. Alright, so I'm back here at the base because my character kind of died. I picked up some more resources and now we can finish whatever this thing is. Is it like some sort of a bench that I can sit? Or is it gonna be our bed or something? What is it? Oh, that's a workbench! Finally, I was able to craft a workbench. Again, if this game just told me that I made craft a workbench. This is a workbench. That would have been a lot better. Whatever, let's click on it. And, uh... Alright, so right now we can craft cloth, fabric... Rope, aloe cream, a sewing kits, and aloe juice. All right. This just should calm down my stomach a little bit. So is it like some sort of food? Perhaps. We can also craft some bandages, but I have nothing, honestly. I need to find more fabric. Oh, I can craft cloth out of plant fibers. So let's craft one cloth. Here, I crafted more cloth. Now I can get some fabric. Here, I crafted a little bit of fabric. And all right, then we can craft sewing kits, etc., etc. All right, so I found a bit different place. Wait, I haven't explored there yet. So for now, the only thing that I don't have is food, which is kind of weird. I mean, we have infinite uh, water source inside of that vase. Oh, I need to craft the uh, rope and then we'll be able to descend lower. Okay. All right, so probably somewhere over here, we're going to get one more desert storm because that's where I've gotten it last time. Except right now I have some seeds. I want to get back to the base and try out that trap. Maybe I should go there already. You know what? Except I'm gonna save. So just in case if I die somewhere there, I'll be able to at least reload back at this spot. And we'll just go back to the base. And there, I'm gonna try to cook those. Uh, not to cook, but I'll try to put those two seeds. And it looks like with those two seeds, I can either catch someone, as it said, that it's a trap. Unless I misread something. Alright, so maybe that desert storm was kind of random. Because so far, I don't see it. Nothing else is going on. Well, I'm gonna get some more of these aloe... Oh, here we go. There's the desert storm. I see it right now. That's it. There's not much I can do probably about it besides just taking it in and embracing it as I don't think it lasts forever. It must be really scary. I've never experienced a desert store in real life, but I'm pretty sure that must be really scary. Like, you probably can't breathe. All right, so we survived. We gather even more of those aloe plants. And I can hear that sizzling. A tent is nice, but a sunburn is a bit excessive. So I stayed in the sun for a bit too long. We could go maybe further... I think we could go over there, but probably let's head back to the base and maybe let's try to use those aloe plants, probably. Otherwise, my character is just gonna die with those sunburns. Wait, let's try to hide in the shade, at least for a little bit. Here, I'm hiding. I'm cooling down a bit. I can still hear that sizzling and it doesn't cool down. I still don't know where to see how much I'm sunburned or whatever, but doesn't matter. Let's drink some water. 
Here go, that's better. And I don't hear that sizzling, so maybe that sizzling was indicated Then hey, I'm burning. So then I'm just gonna try to run back to the base. And again, speaking of hot weathers, the hottest weather I've ever experienced was maybe like 44 degrees Celsius or something like that, maybe 47. And that's like really super disgusting weather. You go outside, you can legitimately feel your skin burning. And I'm not even over-exaggerating that. You go outside, and you can feel that your skin is kind of burning little by little. All right, I found one more stick here. Let's get it. And close to my base, I found more plant fibers. Nice. That's all I ever needed. Let's get to the base and my game is going to save. Look at this. As soon as I come inside, boom, we go and save. I'm going to go here. I'm going to add those seeds. Am I growing something or am I catching someone? I think I just set a trap here. Yes, I just set a trap. So maybe we'll be able to catch somebody. First of all, let's craft maybe some food. Let's try to craft that aloe juice. Let's craft it. I crafted some aloe juice. Can I eat it? Let's go over here and use it. Did it help my- No, I didn't eat from that! That aloe juice did nothing! Alright, we can maybe start a campfire. But my dude's gonna die. Like, I almost have no health because he's just starving. Alright, what if I click on the campfire then? Ingredients. Can I add plants, wood, and other stuff? And what's going on? No, I didn't mean to add so much stuff. I'm gonna add, let's say, only like four sticks. I'm gonna light the fire. And what's the point of that? Ingredients. I have nothing. I can't eat anything. Well, I'm back at my camp here and I'm crafting some more cloth. I'll probably craft a bunch of fabric and maybe I can even craft a bandage with it. Do I really need it? Uh, perhaps. Maybe let's craft that bandage. Boom. A rough bandage. Well, let's try to use it. For some reason, it's an X. Maybe it still doesn't have a texture. Let's try to use that bandage. Here we go. We have a bit more health now. All right. Did I catch something? Because I've just put seeds here. I should have gotten something. Did I get something to eat? Uh, might be mistaken. I probably didn't. Oh, I did get actually something. Raw meat. I have no idea how I got that stuff, but hey, we just got something. <laughs> we got that food. Let's cook it then. Let's add the ingredients and some water. Maybe I'm just gonna use planks and that's it. All right, so we're gonna cook one chicken breast. Here we go. I got one chicken breast. Let's cook another one. Let's light the fire once again. As if it's a gas stove, you know? We just use it for a little bit, then we stop it. And I got two chicken breasts. Not gonna question that. All right, let's go over here and let's try to eat one. Yes, finally, we are kind of full on health, even though I'm pretty sure that UI thing is bugged because even though I had almost full hunger meter, I was still dying out of hunger when I reloaded. So who knows? Let's get more water out of this infinite water vase. And once again, we get more meat. Are you kidding me? How fast do we get that meat? We got another one. I mean, I can go and cook it. Probably let's cook it in case if I start starving. So let's light the fire. We're gonna cook another chicken breast. Let's get it. I mean, surviving in the desert, according to this game, is quite easy. Like, you, all you have to do is just find that infinite wa wa water vase. And then you're gonna get infinite amount of food just by putting stuff in it. So if I look at it, will somebody jump in there? I kind of doubt it. Probably it's just random. Well, probably I need to craft rope because with this rope, I'll be able to descend lower. So I just need to get that metal hook. I know where to find that metal hook. I saw it at the very end of that thing. Look at this. We just caught more meat. So let's get more meat, baby. We're going to set one more trap. And that's it. Soon we're going to set off to get that hook. I just need to cook those chicken breasts. As it looks like you do get hungry really quickly in this game. All right, let's get that. Extinguish the fire. Close the menu. And we just caught two more rabbits. Epic. <laughs> I have no idea how that works. Well, at least now we have food. Took me half an hour to find that food, but hey, we did it. Now I can probably get going because there's not much I can do here. I need to get some of that aloe plant, maybe, to be able to protect myself from those sunburns. But I'll just maybe try to stay a bit more in the shade. So I was really excited when I found this demo on Steam. I thought, you know what? Hey, it's a desert survival game. Finally, I'm going to learn how to get water in the desert. It might be kind of interesting, but it's like survival in the desert. It is still kind of cool, but I hope that in the future, it's not going to be as easy to get water. I would be fine, you know, if that uh, vase had only a finite amount of water, but it looks like it's like literally infinite amount of water. You don't have to bother about water. All right, so now let's go and let's try to get that hook because I saw the hook somewhere over here. We can even see it once again. It's on this massive rope. First of all, let's try to hide in the shadow and hopefully I'm not going to get a sunburn. Alrighty then, so my temperature have dropped to like 25 degrees Celsius. Alright, so let's try to somehow, some way get that hook. Can I climb higher? I mean, I want to get the hook. 
I just got the hook. Here go metal hooks. So all I need is just to get some rope now. I need to gather insane amount of plant fiber. And then we can craft that rope. And I don't have a slightest clue what else could we do. I mean, my guy will have to drink and eat really soon. Ooh, there's some more stuff going on. So it's a pretty big world. All right, let's go there. That's That has to be like some sort of a cave. 100%. Except I don't understand what's up with my boots. Can I like repair them? Probably not. But how do they break here? I mean, they obviously didn't melt. Like 34 degrees Celsius isn't bad at all. Like... It's a, it's a hot day, don't get me wrong, but it's not probably desert temperature. I'm not a weather boy. I don't know how hot it is in the desert, but hey, it gets plus 40 degrees Celsius in the summer in France. And I'm pretty sure I don't live in a desert. <laughs> Whatever, let's hop inside of the cave. Ooh, we got a new save. A new camping thing. I need one more plank. I don't have it. What that would be, maybe another... Oh, more water from infinite water vases! Thank you! So here we can start another fire. Do I need it, though? I don't think so. Let's just drink. Blip plop. We're gonna get some more water. Would be nice to get another plank. I just don't see it. I don't see a single plank. I burnt all my planks at the other save point. Well, at least it gives me an indication that I might be going the right direction. I need to go further. I need to find more of those water vases. And again, it depends on uh, what approach this game wants to take. Maybe it's more of a like survival slash exploration game. Maybe you just have to find here some sort of mysteries then. Maybe that's all right. But still, I think it could be more fun to obtain water. I'm not thinking, do I go there? As it looks like there's nothing there. Just sand. Well, I'm gonna hide back in the shade. And to be honest, I see nothing. I should walk more in the shadow. 60 degrees Celsius. Oh, wow, it just... Be Here goes, speaking of those degrees. How did I get like 60 degrees Celsius so quickly? How did I die? How did it happen? Maybe because I went in the desert. Maybe that's what's up. So if I go here... Is it 60 degrees Celsius here? Nah, probably it's gonna be only 35. So if I go there, I die, probably. That's the point of the game. Like, that's how the game prevents you from going out of this place. You know, instead of building, like, big mountains that you can't go through, they're just increasing the weather by plus 30 degrees Celsius. <laughs> it gets to 60 degrees Celsius. I could use some food right now. Yes, 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 we do have some chicken breast. Don't worry, mate. We ate one food and we're almost full on food. This is so cool. Again, if this game just told me in the beginning, like, hey, how to catch food, if it didn't let me to go anywhere else, I mean, I could go anywhere I want, but if that game, like, insisted on catching some food first i wouldn't have any problems exploring the game now desert express would be really nice to open up this crate but i can't it's just permanently shot my jacket's gonna break my boots are gonna break all right so i'm back at the base let's get another save point let's hop in Oop, here we go the game has saved i think i can catch some more rabbits <laughs> or whatever i'm catching what happened oh my boots broke but why did i hear that what was that sound effect? All right. So when I go to my equipment, how do I fix it? To do, like zero. You can fix them. How to fix them? There is the... F oh, I need a sewing kit to fix my boots. Okay, I get it. To craft a sewing kit, I just need some cloth and a bunch of rocks. I mean, it's the opposite. I need a bunch of cloth and one rock. All right, so let's now craft insane amount of cloth because that's what I probably require. And what if I go with these boots outside? Does something happen to me? Will I keep losing health just because I don't have boots, perhaps? I'm just interested. Do I even have to repair my gear? That's the... I mean, I keep hearing those... Eh, but I'm not sure what that means. Like, probably our character is hurt. Like, that's... That's... What it means. Oh, my jacket broke. So I can hear my character complaining about it. But, like, that's it. That's the only thing that happens. I just can hear my character complaining about it. But that doesn't mean that I have to repair my gear. Unless I'm wrong. Right, while we're at the base, let's cook some more chicken. Here we go. We cooked one chicken breast and let's get another one. I'm burning all of my planks. No, no, no. Don't burn the planks. Maybe just burn sticks. I think burning sticks is better. Alright, so we can craft maybe one sewing kit. Let's craft one. Maybe let's craft two sewing kits, right? I mean, it's better than nothing. So let's try to go to my equipment and let's try to repair these boots a bit. Here we go. We repaired my boots. I repaired my torso. And I need to repair my helmet too. Let's craft one more sewing kit then. And let's repair my helmet. Alright, at least I le I'm learning how to play the game a little bit. 
Again, would be nice if the game told me how to do that. <laughs> it took me quite a bit of time to find that out. So we're going to get more fabric. And I need to craft those fabric strips. Let's craft them. And all I require... Oh, that's it. I have enough rope. So let's craft the rope. I didn't mean to craft so many fabric strips. I'm an idiot. So I have enough rope. Is that it? Did I craft what I needed? I don't get it. It said that I need a metal hook. I have no idea where's my metal hook or what happened. Because you clearly saw it yourself. I got that metal hook. I had it. So I want to see, can I use this place here? Yes, I, I have that rope. So I had that metal hook. And with that metal hook, I was able to craft the rope. So now I crafted it and I can descend lower. Okay, so before we do this, let's replenish my water. We could maybe even get a bit more food. Again, I don't even know how long is this game because usually demos last for like one or two hours in my experience. So let's get some more rabbits. Let's add some more seeds. It's so nice that with those seeds, you don't have to grow plants or anything. You just put them in and you magically get two chicken breasts <laughs> out, of, out of nowhere. That's beautiful. That's the survival game I'm talking about. I wish life was so easy. <laughs> you put two seeds and you get like two already done chicken breasts. Like, that's sick. All right, let's drink some water. Uh, bleep, blop, bleep, blop. I'm gonna eat that one chicken breast. I am gonna get some more water with me. I am going to save the game. And let's descend lower on that rope. Because I am pretty sure that's what I had to do. I might be wrong. I might be mistaken. Also, it looks like some resources respawn. Like these plant fibers. They've just respawned in front of me. Wait, before we go anywhere else, I have one more thing to do. I got some of those aloe plants, right? So why not craft that aloe cream? Just in case if I get a sunburn, I'll be able to protect myself with that stuff. So let's go to aloe cream and let's craft one. And um, maybe I should craft aloe juice too. Let's craft that too. That's enough. Wait, I haven't been on this side. It looks like I can maybe climb through that. I just need to restore my stamina. It's in the down left corner. Now it's restoring and I can't jump through it. All right, so here we go. Now I can get this grass. I haven't explored this side yet. Yes, more free plant fiber. All right, so basically, I just fell down there. I just wanted to get those plant fibers. That's it. Why did the game have to punish me so hard and literally kill me? <laughs> I mean, I didn't get killed. I just got stuck there. That's like the same thing as getting killed. All right, let's descend lower. Let's get that rope. And am I just going to teleport? All right, so I just hold S and I go lower. All righty then. We are going lower, ladies and gentlemen. It was kind of nice, you know, it was like some sort of a little puzzle. Maybe again, the game didn't even have to tell you like, oh, go there, do this, do whatever. As now I kind of feel a little bit at least good as I've accomplished something. I was able to craft that rope. I found that hook and now we are going God knows where. Can I get those shovels? Probably no, I'd love to take them, but why? Those crates, maybe there's dynamite inside of those. Uh-oh, I don't think it's a good idea to go there. I need to repair that thing! I need sticks, a rope, more of that stuff. All right, and then I'll be able to maybe descend lower. Okay, that's interesting. So I need to get another hook then. We need to find one more hook for that rope. Because that's the only way you can craft it. Here go, finally more planks. I shouldn't have burned those planks. Chances are that I'm not going to be able to finish whatever we are doing now. Just because I don't have enough planks. Can't open up those crates. Well, there's that mining camp thingy here. Every time the game loads in, it just speaks something about the mining camp. So let's go inside of the mining camp. Let's see what it's all about. Hello. Anybody here? Imagine it's like a horror game and somebody started attacking me. I found another hook. A metal hook. That's what I needed. Well, I'll go further. Please tell me I'm I'm not going to die. Like, did, like dude, I don't, I don't have any self-defense anything. My guy cannot run. Like, running is out of the question. I can't run. That's it. Please tell me no one's here. It's very bright in this cave, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's super bright. It's ridiculously bright. Do I go lower? I mean, I'm already here. I might as well explore it. I don't even imagine getting, like, jump scared in this game. Like, everything seems, like, kind of slow. I'm probably gonna regret saying this. Somebody's gonna kill me. Someone's gonna kill me into tiny smithereens. 100%. Uh-oh. I keep hearing like those random drops. And why do I need so many stones all of a sudden? Maybe I should start picking them up because I really feel like I don't need these stones. Is that something else? Iron, I got some iron. All right, all right, all right, all right. But why do I need it? Why do I need so many stones? My backpack's 50 out of something kilos. Can I drop something on the ground? I can't. Imagine you can't drop stuff. 
Bruh. I can run, but I can't drop it. Well, at least I still can run. Do I take more iron? Let's get it. Let's get it. Alright, so I just... Uh, exited this place from the other side. I have no clue how did I get here. Oh, we can open up the map. I totally didn't even think about it. So there's the mine thingy. That's probably my camp. There's one mine thingy, another mine thingy, and that's where I've gotten my first hook. And that's desert. Atacama Desert. Okay. Wait, what is this thing? It must be something useful. Wait, before we go anywhere else, let's try to eat. Let's try to drink some water and let's try to eat a chicken breast. Nice. Whoa. All right, let's pick up these random planks because apparently I needed them and I assume that I won't be able to wait. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that where I got the first hook? That is probably where I got my first hook. So my base is just on the top. In it, mate. My base is just on the top. Yep, it's gotta be. So I kind of see what developers are going with this game. It's like some sort of more of an exploration survival game rather than just like pure survival game. I just still don't really know what kind of mysteries we have to uncover here. I'm pretty sure if developers would add some sort of a mysterious story, like if we have to find out where my missing crewmates went or something, I think then this game would be really perfect. Like you go there, you gather clues. You know, maybe if it's like a couple of hours exploration game, then maybe it's gonna be quite cool. So I'm going back to the base here because I need to craft that one more rope. I need to craft it. Can I craft it? Yes, I just crafted one more rope. I need more fabric strips. I don't know how many of them I need though, but whatever. Let's craft some cloth. I'll probably craft a bunch of fabric and I'll craft a little bit of fabric strips. That's it. Why did I do it? I don't know, but I did it. All right, so I'm gonna descend lower once again, except I can't click on the rope this time. Oh, here we go. There's the rope. All right, so I just need three more sticks and I'll be able to finish this thing. Let's try to search for three more things and I'm pretty sure that's the next step in our to-do list. I mean, there are a bunch of sticks. I could just take them from here, from this cart. So the only thing that's left for me is just to find a couple of those sticks. It looks like a couple of resources have respawned. Like, look at these. Those planks have respawned, but the sticks though i do not see any sticks maybe i can descend lower over here and perhaps i'll get some sticks well i really doubt it it feels like kind of weird place it feels like i'm not even supposed to be here yeah probably i'm not supposed to be here All right so i see one more stick there in the desert i'm pretty sure i picked it up already but it has just respawned here we go let's get that stick let's get some more plant fibers more planks but that's still not enough sticks Yes, we found another stick, so I'm pretty sure now we're gonna have eight sticks, and that should be enough to fix whatever that thing is. And now when I don't need those sticks, I'm pretty sure I'll need them later, but hey, I found more sticks. I'm also interested if this game is gonna end maybe with some sort of a jump scare. Hopefully not, because I don't want this game to end in a lame way. I don't really think there's much more I can do in it, because we've already been playing here for a bit over an hour. And as I said, these demo games usually don't have like 10 hours worth of content. But again, I might be mistaken. Who knows? All I know is that I think I can fix this triangle thingy, whatever that is. Here we go. Let's get a couple of extra planks. I might still need them. Maybe there's something else I need to repair down there. Imagine I descend down there and I get jump scared, but like a very super cheap jump scare. Like, bah! and that's it. And it's done. I'll be very disappointed. Be very sad. Yes, let's fix it. Let's fix it. Finally, after 84 years of traveling, of doing everything, I was able to fix it. So we can go lower then. Let's save the game once again. Please tell me no cheap jump scares. I trust you, game. Here go. Let's get on the rope. And let's go lower. Why am I going there? Oh, congratulations on finishing the demo. Thank you for playing. Just as I said, these demos aren't really that long. So once again, I want to say that was a really nice game. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. Hopefully developers are going to continue developing this game. So yeah, overall, in short, I can give a very positive feedback about this game. I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait for this game to come out fully. Hopefully developers are going to finish it. So I highly suggest you checking out my Scum Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my The Infected Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to Playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.